I think everyone comes in here. Um, I say 80% of them are people that have been here before, and I say 80% because we we hear every year. I'm here from Illinois again. We're back again from Ohio. We've had them from all over, and our local people and the uh, people that have concession stands, such as selling merchandise, not food. Many of them eat in here. I know, and that was the experience we always saw that the farm, the farmers that come in and exhibit their the cattle, the animals, and uh, all of their uh, exhibits, they like to come to the home cooked uh, dining halls. Yeah, uh, that we found out. And uh, they, uh, early part of the uh, years when we started out here in the tent, then we did service the farmers early, early in the morning. But we found that in this big uh, dining hall that we have here now, it's a little hard to start serving a breakfast and be ready to serve a complete dinner by 10.30 in the morning. So we've stuck to our dinner. And I'm going to try one today. I'm not going to have Alka-Seltzer tonight. <laughs> All right, I hope and I wish you the very best and the continued success here in your dining hall operation. I'm glad to see that the tradition is still carried on and that Church Street can still carry its name if you've got one dining hall left. Uh, thank you, and we're real happy of that our church is able to get these volunteers. I'll stress that again, because there's many, many men, women, and children that put hours and hours of work into this to make it a success. Very good. Thank you very much. And back to the studio set. Back to us. I'm, by the way, I'm Ruth Snedek, and I'm your host for this program this evening. I'd like to introduce my guests now. To my right is Jim Nesky. He is uh, with the Nesky Meat Hillcrest, is it? Hillcrest, Hillcrest um, Farm Meats. Hillcrest Farm Meats. He's been, this is his first year here. And right to my left is, uh, you are Cliff Young, is it? Right. And you are superintendent of the exhibit halls, and he also directs the bands here that march here at the State Fair. And uh, to his left is Bob Kaminsky, and he is with the Barbie K, no, Double, Double K, K Ranch. Double K Ranch. Okay. We'd like to talk to Jim Nesky first. He is uh, with the Hillcrest Farms, and we'd like to get his uh, opinion of his first year here at the fair. Thank you, Ruth. It's <coughs> I just like, it's really been tremendous for us here. Uh, the people have been friendly. We've given a lot of beef sticks and samples out and let people know uh, the kind of products that we've got. Uh, we've been in business for actually, it's our 51st year this year, but first time in Milwaukee, fair here and Wisconsin State Fair and uh, the staff at the fairgrounds have really been helpful to us. Uh, everybody's treated us really good and it's, it's really been good for us to be here. Great. Uh, I saw the, your, one of your uh, employees, that little clown that was running around. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> well, he's just clowning around today. Clowning he'll do, around he'll today. do anything to promote business for uh -huh. us. Yeah. You, you feel you did a, a good year this year? You'd like to come back? Oh yes, we're, we're fortunate to be here and we're
uh, those that receive a low rating are not invited back for the following year. Um, the other things these superintendents do uh, during the state fair, of course, is assist with setup, uh, assist as far as uh, the exhibitor to suggest ways, especially to the new exhibitors. The other areas is to maintain and uh, use the uh, rules and regulations see that they're enforced, that the building hours are kept by all exhibitors, uh, assist in any way possible, assist if need be by the police department in case of medical emergencies. Uh, we're called upon for a lot of lost children in the buildings. We have not lost a child yet. Uh, we've lost a few parents and found those, but uh, other than that, uh, it's running the buildings for the fair. Very good. Uh, as I asked uh, Jim before, are they responsible then for keeping up their own buildings? Do they have to repair them, their booths to repair them? Is this, uh, as far as the uh, booth itself, it's their responsibility to make sure that the booth is uh, eye appealing and in good repair before it arrives here or if repair it prior to opening of the fair. Um, during the fair, uh, sometimes some things happen. We try and assist them as much as possible. Um, the uh, backdrop drapes is behind us are set up prior to the fair and all equipment going into their allotted space then is furnished by the exhibitor. Okay. I know um, um, that unfortunate thing that happened was, well, I think it was the, what was it, the village down the way that um, had rain coming in. Uh, that, those are the kinds of things I was wondering, you know, who, who does okay. have Okay, that is a different case than most buildings. The, uh, that building is rented out directly to the person that runs the Mexican village is the one you're referring to. Yes. Uh, that is uh, a contract between the state there and that owner uh, who leases that building. It's his responsibility for everything of the building itself. That's how the contract is written. Okay. Let's go to Bob Kaminsky now and let's tell us a little bit about your Double K Ranch. Well, how was your year this year? We feel it was a fantastic year. Every year it seems to be better and better. Uh, we keep growing and it's a wonderful feeling to know that you're growing all the time. When you stop growing, then you got a problem. That's true. So we try to keep our image as fresh as we can, like the young said here. Uh, we like to give the appearance of a corral at both of our stands. Uh, that's because the name is Double K Ranch and that stands for Bob Kaminsky Sr. and Bob Kaminsky Jr. Although my whole family is involved in this, uh, it's the male end of it that we've chosen Double K Ranch from. It originally was the Gas Lamp Club when we first started here back in 1967. And we started with, we introduced, and no commercials meant by it, but we did have the opportunity of introducing Old Milwaukee Beer oh. the first time on the state fairgrounds and to the state of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Nobody believed that we were going to do anything. We had uh, a van truck that uh, Schlitz furnished us with 10 half barrels of beer in it. And the first weekend that we started up, we had the auto races going on. And we poured nothing but foam because the beer wasn't cold enough. Oh. We, we just panicked something terrible. And of course, the next day we had a refrigerated truck, but it was too late then. But from that time on, we've been uh, adding more taps and so forth and so on, and being able to keep our refrigerated our refrigeration up to date and bigger trucks to supply the beer. Uh, we have specialized kind of in the we don't like to call them fast food, but specialty foods. Uh, of course, I guess bratwurst and the hot dogs not very special, but it is uh, one of the main things on the fairground. Uh, we've gone into Western Burgers, which is a type of a hamburger with a cheese filling in it and uh, sweet uh, peppers. Uh, we have a pizza burger. Uh, oh, okay. What, you know, it was very interesting. You said you started here in 1967. Uh, that, now, this is Jim's first year. Tell us just a little bit about your first year. Well, I hope that he wasn't as scared as I was the first year I started. We started when the National Guard had taken over the whole state fair during the riots. And we had no idea what we were getting into. Uh, I 
contract on promoting gas grills, which we use the same kind that you use outside at home. And that's what we cook all of our food on is that type of equipment. And I brought my wife out here and she saw all those soldiers out around our whole place. She <laughs> almost had a heart scary. attack and she said, honey, what did you get me into now? And thank goodness it was all over within two seconds and they were all moved out and the fair one launched just beautifully and we had no problems. That's wonderful. Well, how does this fair now compared to other years? Uh, I know that your first year was the most exciting year. I don't think you could ever have another year quite as exciting, but are there any differences from this year to oh, any of the other years? From 67, this whole fairgrounds has changed absolutely Completely. flipped upside down, inside out. Uh, uh, beside my building was the space sales building, on the other side was the administration building, and now there we sit in Central Park all by ourselves. <laughs> And of course, the, uh, our other stand on 2nd and Western, uh, that was just a corner that had nothing across from the Mexican village. And that's all been grown up and all rebuilt. It's a beautiful area and keeps growing all the time. Well, that's very good. I'd like to thank our guests this evening for coming here, and uh, I hope you will con have continued success. And uh, we will go now. So let us go now to our next segment, which is the National Guard segment. Bob Cole here at State Fair Park with Private Krause and Sergeant Morgan of the National Guard. Why don't you tell us a little bit about why this tanks here at the fair this year? Uh, this is helping with a uh, little recruiting duty we're on. Uh, we've been here every day of the fair so far, and we're trying to pick up some names of interested people uh, looking for a position in the National Guard. How has the recruiting been going so far? Well, very good. Uh, we have got uh, approximately about 80-some names. Uh, very interesting in the guards. We have a good program for the guards, for the, at least for the people, uh, to interested in the guards. We got the school tuition, uh, repayment program, uh, $2,000 cash enlistment bonus for our high school grads. Uh, we, uh, we got a lot of programs in the guards. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it, and we are here trying to explain it to them. So there have been quite a few people stopping by and inquiring for information. Sure, uh, lots of people interested in it. Now, a little bit about this tank. Can you explain a little bit about what type of tank it is? Okay, actually, it's not a tank. It's a field artillery piece. It's uh, actually a cannon on tracks. It's called an M109A3 155 millimeter self-propelled howitzer. It's got a maximum range of about 11 miles, and for that reason, it's anywhere between four and five miles behind the front. Uh, it differs from a tank in the fact that it doesn't have a lot of heavy armor like a regular tank does. Um, it's got about an inch and a quarter of aluminum. This is to make it a lot lighter and a lot faster. And because it is that far behind the lines, it's not going to encounter any fire other than artillery, which would take out a tank anyway. Now, is this the, an actual one that could go into battle right now if need be? It's one of the newest that the uh, National Guard has. It's been converted a number of times, and it's very up-to-date right now, very effective weapon. Now, where are you guys coming from? We are located at uh, 1225 East Henry Place Street, Wikers Bay. Do you look for... Tell us a little bit about what you plan for in the future as far as your careers in the National Guard. Well, basically, I'm still pretty much a low man on a totem pole. I'm looking for my promotions, uh, move on up the ladder, maybe become a section chief, which is you're in charge of a few men doing a specific job. About how soon do the promotions come? How long between promotions? Uh, they're, they're, they come pretty quick if you can keep your nose clean and do your job. What about you, Sergeant Moore? Well, my goal is uh, support the National Guard, support the uh, National Guard the state of Wisconsin, uh, give the people what they deserve, like schooling, we got that. Uh, promotions, sure, I want more promotion. Okay, thank you very much, and we've been talking to you from the National Guard here at the State Fair. We hope you have enjoyed Wisconsin State Fair of 1984. We've had some great, great weather, and we hope that you come out to try the, the cream puffs and all of the wonderful things here. We hope you have enjoyed our community programmers. Uh, we've had programs every day live, and uh, just today we had uh, different things uh, with the barbershop quartet, with the li with a snake interview from one of our young programmers, and many other uh, 
interesting things. And as our fair winds down this evening, I hope you'll still come. There's plenty of things to see and do for your last evening. Thank you very much for joining us this evening.